So you've just come back from a holiday and you realize half of your photos have got the wrong date. We're going to use a command line interface to get that fixed. Let's have a look. So we start out with a file type that has the incorrect XF date. Then we're going to export the XF data into a .txt file. That's going to help us identify the name of the parameter we want to change. And then we're going to identify how much we need to change that value by. Then we're going to test the change and then we're going to implement that change to the entire directory. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is download a tool called Exif Tool. This is the website here, it's by Phil Harvey. We're going to download the Windows executable. Now we will open that file. Let's copy the exe. Now I've got a test directory. One is a JPEG, one is an MOV file. So I'll show you how to do both, but you can use the information from this tutorial to work on whichever file you would like to. So let's get rid of that dash K option. Now the first thing we need to do is identify the parameter we would like to change in the EXIF data. And how we're going to do that is generate a TXT file showing us all of the EXIF data. Now on the website These are the options we would like. This one here, the TXT, generate output TXT. Let's copy that. So I can paste into the terminal by right clicking. Now I type in the file I would like to work on, which in my case is DSC. 03. If I press tab, it will auto complete. Now, if I hit enter, we can see it has output a text file. Now, the property we would like to change for a JPEG is this date time original. There is an example on the website. So we'd like to do the date time shift feature. So I'll just copy this syntax. Open up my terminal again. Now I can type in EXIF. I press tab, it auto completes that. Now if I right click, it will paste from my clipboard. Now I know which file I'd like to work on. This is just the test, initial test, D, S, C, 0, 3, press tab, it'll auto complete. Now I've already done a calculation to figure out how much I would like to change that date time by. And the format for this is years, which is three months, days, hours, minutes. Now if I press enter, it will generate the new JPEG and it'll keep the old one with an underscore original. So if I hover over this, It now shows that the date taken has been fixed to the 19th of the 6th, 23, which is what I was looking for. So now that that has worked, we are going to change all of the JPEGs inside this folder. Now, because I'm using relative directories, I'm going to drag this EXIF tool EXE into the new directory. Now, if I right click, and go open terminal. 
Now because I was typing all my commands using relative directories, I can just press up, it will show me the past history. And now I should just be able to hit enter. And you can see that it changed all of those files in that directory. They all need to be the same type because the EXIF data for different file types will be called different names. That's why it's important to identify the correct parameter that you'd like to change. But now that is done, the dates have been corrected. Now to do the MOV, we will cut this EXE, come back to our test directory, close that terminal, we'll open the terminal again. Now we're going to do the same or it's similar thing but for the MOV file. So let's type in exif Now we're going to copy this. Right click to paste. Now we would like to work on the MOV file, which is called DDSC. 02. Now if I press tab, it'll auto complete. So let's have a look at the names of the parameters for the MOV file. 0295. If I open this, the info I'm looking for, I know already, is called the create date. Yours could be called something different, I'm not sure. But in my case, it's called the create date. So Let's close that. Now, if I press up twice, it will show me the history that I've typed into the terminal. Now I'd like to change this parameter. This is why you need to know the parameter name. So create date, it's in title case. It's the same numbers we want to change it by because I, I use the same camera. So now I'm going to change, type in DSC02. So now if we press enter, yeah. So it's created a new MOV file. And if I right click on the properties, details, should be showing me the corrected date, 19th of the 6th. That's exactly what we're looking for. So now that I know that that works, I am going to do the same thing I did with the JPEGs. So I'm going to drag this file into the MOV folder. I'm going to right click, open in terminal, press up, now I shouldn't have to change anything because it's all relative directory references. But what I do have to change is now I want to work on all of the MOV files. So instead of specifying a specific file, I'm going to specify the directory. Now if I press enter, there you go. So that has now updated all the MOV files in this directory to have the correct EXIF data. I hope this information helps you and good luck.